Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to install a new instance or new version of WordPress. I have navigated to www.bluehost.com. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And of course, as you know, at any time, if you need to pause this video, you may do that so that you can follow along. So now I have gotten myself in here. There's a couple of places to go to get this going. <clears throat> right off of the main page is an install WordPress, but also you should be familiar with the cPanel or the control panel, which actually gives you a lot more options. So I'm going to go through the cPanel and here's the icon for install WordPress right here. So I'm going to click on that once. This is going to actually take me to Mojo Marketplace, which is the scripting location for this. I'm going to click on install. Now, super important, very, very important. When you get to this step, notice that this is your primary website. You should not go ahead and install here. You must click into this little mystery box over to the right where it says directory and type in the name of another directory. This is going to essentially put WordPress into a subfolder. So I'm going to call this EDTC 621 sample. And this is, again, dependent on your course and whatever you want to call this is what you would put in here. But this becomes part of your WordPress address. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, move forward here. There are two check boxes. Um, the one that says I've read the terms and conditions, that's fine. And this portion where it says show advanced options, I always like to take a look at that. I need to know specifically that my username is what that is. And then they will assign a really long obnoxious password here. And that's fine because I can right click and copy it or I can uh, control C and copy it. I just want to copy it into memory so that later on when I actually log in I have it already written down or, or copied into memory. If not I'd have to actually manually write that down and, and remember it for later. I'm going to go ahead and click on, on install now. And this will take a moment or two. What you'll notice across the top here is as soon as it starts loading it's going to come back and give you a little progress bar that indicates that it is installing and it usually even gives you a really super big, just like this, super big screen thing that says we're setting up the WordPress for you and right here is the progress bar right across the top. I can go ahead and close that out. While we're waiting here, notice that they will try to uh, show you all sorts of different themes that you can purchase, which is fine, but for our purposes, you don't need to purchase any themes. You can work with all of the freebies, which are just as fine for us. And then once this is totally done, you'll be able to click on view details and then go in and take a look at your particular credentials and the details about your website. I'm going to pause the video right now and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, we are back and notice that it's done. It says your install is complete and now I have a view credentials area and over here your WordPress install is finished. Click on view. And what's very important about this particular chunk here is this is once again giving you your username and your password but very importantly it's giving you the web address to your new WordPress area and it's giving you the administration URL. And remember please that even if you didn't have this web as um, the excuse me the admin URL you can always get to it right as long as you know your web address up here all administration pieces are always the forward slash WP dash admin I'm going to go ahead and click in there one time and now I have to remember that my username and I am just simply right clicking and pasting or Control V to paste that really long password and I can go ahead and click on login and that in a nutshell is how you create 
a new instance of your WordPress. Now, there are multiple videos that follow this on how to update it, how to change your username and password, how to set up um, the variety of things you need for your course. So I'm going to let you go take a look at those and see you later.